I uh, am now uh, in the presidency of uh, Protestant churches in Egypt. And so, uh, when it comes to uh, the Protest uh, Christian churches in Egypt, uh, it is almost always the Coptic churches uh, we are paying attention. But uh, in Egypt, uh, besides the Coptic churches, uh, <coughs> there are uh, several other Protestant churches. And uh, today, uh, we have a very uh, precious uh, time uh, to uh, uh, interview uh, with the president of a uh, uh, Protestant church in Egypt. Uh, so uh, I, uh, I appreciate it uh, very much uh, to talk with you. And so, uh, uh, could you uh, uh, so uh, uh, first uh, introduce yourself, uh, and uh, uh, could you also explain about uh, your church? Uh, first, let me tell you that the word Coptic means Egypt, Egyptian. Yes. So we we call the Coptic Orthodox Church and the Coptic Catholic Church and the Coptic Protestant Church. Mm -hmm. So uh, because the word the Coptic Copts means e is Egypt, mm -hmm. it is a uh, Egyptian word. Uh, the uh, Egyptian uh, Church. I will give you a video after this to distribute it. Uh, we made it uh, now we are about 150 years. Uh, since we started, uh, the uh, Protestant churches are also have some different churches. Uh, we have the what we call the Brotherly Church. We have the Methodist Church. We have the Assembly of God Church. Uh, we have this uh, Church of Christ, and mainly all these uh, missions came from USA. I see. So uh, the missions who came to the, to the Middle East, the, Ang the Anglican went to Jordan and, and Palestine. And the uh, Presbyterians came to uh, Syria, Lebanon, and Egypt. I see. Uh, so the mission just uh, made the plans. But mainly, uh, the, the uh, missions came from America, and the Anglican came from England. Uh, our church is... Uh, when was the first mission to, uh, to Egypt? Uh, it was uh, in the uh, uh, 1850. Ah, 1850. Yeah, mm -hmm. mid, mid of uh, mm -hmm. uh, 19th century. Yeah. yeah. And when they came, as a matter of fact, they, they didn't want to with the, the Christians. Mm -hmm. uh, they wanted to, even, to work with the original church, the Orthodox, mm -hmm. Orthodox Church. Yeah. church. But... Uh, the education, the teaching was not accepted uh, by the Coptic. And they said that this is not a traditional church, uh, the Coptic are more traditional. Uh, and I admire the traditions because the, the traditions kept the, at least the uh, uh, Christianity in this country. Uh, by, the, uh, by the way, two days ago we established uh, council of all the churches together. Mm -hmm. It was the first time in the life of the church. I see. This is the umbrella organization. Yes. Ah, we cool. just uh, uh, started uh, two days ago, mm -hmm. uh, signed the law with the Catholics, mm -hmm. from the Catholics, the Orthodox, and the Anglican, uh, under one assembly, mm -hmm. one council. Mm -hmm. uh, the idea started three years ago, so this was uh, Pope Shmuda. Uh, late Jude before he died, mm -hmm. and then we completed after the new Pope started mm -hmm. coming. Uh, our church uh, is an open church. Uh, when they started, they started really with education. Mm -hmm. uh, so st the mission started teaching the people. Mm -hmm. uh, and through the education, yeah. uh, the, we shared in the for, developing the country, and we still have the top uh, schools mm -hmm. uh, all over the country. So the Catholics and the Evangelicals or the Protestants uh, kept the schools, and when they were uh, asked to choose between church and school, they said, we'll choose school, because school will be for everybody for Muslims and Christians, uh -huh. and mix the people coming together. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my experiences when there was some problems in the South, and some people were killed, it was a quarrel between 
the people in the village. But at that time, 21 Christians were killed. So I was visiting the mayor of the area at that time, and he asked, if you have a church, maybe this one wouldn't happen. I said, I don't want to start a church, because this will be more conflict between the Christian and Christian, Christian and Muslims. But let me start with school, because the school will bring everybody together, and bring the Muslims. In our schools, in some of our schools, we have 90% of the students are Muslims. And they like our, even some uh, imams of the Al-Azhar, send the children to our schools. Mm -hmm. Because we say that we are not changing the people. Mm -hmm. We change the way of thinking, not the, the religion. We, we respect the religions, but we try to develop the way of thinking. Mm -hmm. But let everybody free to choose what he wants. Mm -hmm. If they are Muslims or Christians, don't have Jews, very, very few Jews, I think, mm. uh, after the revolution, mm. most of the uh, Jews left in the But we, we, we care very much for the college. We have, as an example, we have a college for girls, as example, mm. only girls. Mm. Uh, it's called the American Mission for Girls. Mm. And when I wanted to have it, a co-education, boys and girls, the Minister of Education said, mm. start with another school, but let this school uh, be only for girls. Mm -hmm. And this is has more than 100 years old. I see, I see. Uh, most of the high educated women are educated from this school. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, we, we have one in high school or high college after high school mm -hmm. uh, only for girls. So uh, the number of children who are taking care are more than 25,000. Every year we graduate around for 4,000 are graduated from our schools. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is the, the way we started, not to, develop, to do, divide the people, mm -hmm. uh, but to keep the people in unity mm -hmm. and start the school for everybody. Mm -hmm. When the, the school grew and they felt that they need to have a church, we started with the Professor Church, which is now 150 years. So this is the, the beginning. And the, our way to how to help the people, mm -hmm. not to change the, the, the people from one region to another, but to change the way of think of the people, mm -hmm. to be more free, to feel free, that to choose what they want. Uh, God is bigger, 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 bigger than we can imagine. We cannot have uh, the sea or the river Nile in one cup. So the way to think of God is more than our limited. Way of thinking. But let the people be free of thinking, and then they can choose how they can worship God, how can they express their feeling to God. I think this is uh, the way, as I believe, God wants it to you. Yeah, so thank you very much. Yeah, I understand yeah, how important uh, education is uh, in your mission. And uh, I, yeah, I definitely believe uh, that education is always effective. Uh, and very uh, meaningful to uh, 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 all the people, especially for the children. And so, uh, by uh, the school, uh, you mean the primary school or high school? No, we have, kind of we have from the kindergarten to yeah. high school uh -huh. and even to some college after yeah. have, uh, high school. Uh -huh. yeah. I see. Yeah. So, for almost uh, every yeah. children. Yeah. Ah, uh, nice. for, for my, uh, uh, I feel proud that one. A uh, lady from America sent me uh, a piece of newspaper saying the first lady from Saudi Arabia who is getting a high position in the United Nations is graduated from our college in Cairo. Yes, yes, yes. And they sent me uh, the piece of the mm -hmm. and say this is the first Saudi uh, lady mm -hmm. to have this position in New York. Mm -hmm. and she's, I think her name, I forget her name, but I cannot forget that this lady was graduate from our school. Ah, wonderful. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. So they used to come from the Arab world to study here, mm -hmm. and we had before uh, uh, dormitories. They can live, girls can live in the school. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. And as you said, uh, uh, the education uh, uh, does not divide the people. 
but uh, in some cases, a region uh, might divide and yes. divorce. So, uh, yeah, as I said, uh, you mentioned uh, in the south of Egypt, uh, some uh, Christian people were killed. Mm -hmm. uh, so that means uh, e even now, uh, in the south, the southern part of the Egypt, uh, there are some conflicts between uh, Christian and Muslims? Uh, I think, uh, I lived in the south, and my family was there, I was raised in the, in the south, uh, and we didn't have this before. Mm. We used to live together, even um, we don't know if this is a Muslim or Christians. I remember that I went with my friends to go to the mosque and to go to the tower of the mosque, mm -hmm. just to show the, the, the village from high top of the, of the, of the mosque. Mm -hmm. But I believe personally that the main reason for the conflict is not religion, but the social and uh, uh, way of life, because the, the country is coming uh, too small for the people. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was a child, the uh, population were about 30 million. Now it is 85 million. Yes, yes, yes. The, the, the land is not enough. <laughs> people are living just squeezed. Yes. So when you are in a bus of, of 30 or 40 people and you have 200 in the bus, mm -hmm. probably you will have some problems because some people they are squeezed. Nobody is willing to, to accept the others because he just want to breathe. Mm -hmm. So I think the main problem which made the conflicts, mm -hmm. not of religion, mm -hmm. but because of the life of the people. Mm -hmm. If you have one uh, piece of bread mm -hmm. and 4,000 people want to eat, mm -hmm. then we'll have to fight yeah. to get this piece. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it goes to the weakest point, which is religion. Mm -hmm. And there is this to make the, it will be, it is not the, the region itself, but our way of life. Mm -hmm. We have one job, and 10 people want the job. Then we are the majority. We, we take this job because we are the majority. Mm -hmm. uh, and another one will feel very lonely because he cannot take this job mm -hmm. because the majority are pushing more. Mm -hmm. they, they can take the job. Mm -hmm. So all this life, if you are living in a very flat area where you are living in a villa and somebody is in another villa, there will be no, no crash, no conflicts coming. But if you are living in one building with 300 people, in one apartment, 10 people, in one room, five, six people, even if they are one family, they will commit conflicts because there is no place. If it is very cold and you have one cover, and 10 people are lying down. Everybody will just push the cover, want to get warm. But if you have enough bait and enough cover, there will be no conflict. No conflict. So if they are busy in working, for example, nobody is going to quarrel or to fight because they are busy working for the whole day. Uh, I, I was uh, asked about China, how many they are. But they are quite busy from early morning to the evening. Then there is no time to think of the sacrifices. Very good. Everybody just go to sleep because they, are, they have to go very early to work. Yes. But if they have no work and no food and no place to stay, and in the bus we are fighting to find one feet to, to stand on, then if you just push me a little, I will push you some more. Then the majority will ask to take, because they are the majority, to take uh, enough food for themselves. Then this is, this is the minority will not fight. Then the weakest point to fight for is the religion. Ah, because you are this. You give this job to this man because he is Christian, or he is a Muslim. You hire in our schools. We, we, I usually say, when we hire teachers, I look for the prefer. The, the, the prophet is a, is a perfect person to work, mm -hmm. not because of his religion. Yeah, so in, in, yeah, in such a difficult situation, uh, the, the minority people can easily become a, a kind of a scapegoat. Yes, yeah, so and these people will come, this is only our place to work. You are hiring the Muslims, but they are much better in their work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if, I, <coughs> if I want my school to be 
advanced the school. And I, I remember one lady from Tanta, which is 100 kilo in the north, was not blame, blaming me, she is Christian, because I'm hiring Muslims in the school. And she said, we have no place to work in, and this is our school. I asked her this question. How many students in the school? They are around three subjects. How, how is the Christianity of the Muslims? She said, 90%. I said, you are living on the tuition of the 90%. Then they have the right to also share with you, because if, you, if they think as you do, and they take all the children from the school, you cannot live, you cannot eat, you cannot find a work. And she said, you are right. <laughs> yeah. So the, the people how to think we need to explain to them that without the majority of the Muslims who are doing all a lot a lot of work and bring the children to our schools and the ten percent are living without the ninety percent you cannot live. We cannot open a school for ten percent. Mm -hmm. It will be closed. Mm -hmm. Then the, the people who are working will, will lose their jobs. Mm -hmm. So why we don't accept the others with us? So in a way to explain, and the people are ready to, to listen and to, to be convinced. And so, yeah, you are right, you are right. Mm -hmm. After she was, this is only the job to our children. I said, but you are living with the other children too. Yeah. Yeah, I, I uh, completely agree with your idea. Yeah. Uh, because um, yeah, religion itself uh, cannot become a major uh, reason uh, for conflicts or uh, problems. Yeah, but uh, we have uh, some other uh, uh, yeah, reasons and problems in our society. So, if uh, the uh, living condition, as well as the employment rate, improve, then um, the problems uh, would uh, d diminish uh, very dramatically. Yeah. And the people uh, are attracted to the uh, events, the accidents. When we have the newspaper, we see how many problems. We don't see the positive things in the newspaper. But we look for the page where they have the accidents. And they don't uh, analyze the accidents. Why every day we have a lot of uh, bus crashes and uh, uh, cars accident. They don't think of the crowds, the narrow streets, the uh, uh, people who are not even qualified to drive cars. But they look for the accidents. Sometimes we look for the, the results, the, the fruits, and we don't know the, which, which way the fruit is coming. Why this fruit is not good? Yeah, because many, many reasons. Mm -hmm. Not because the man who cultivated only the, the problem. Mm -hmm. but the land itself is not good. Mm -hmm. The uh, fertilizing is not good. Mm -hmm. The water is not enough. Mm -hmm. Many, many reasons mm -hmm. that this fruit became not good. But uh, unfortunately, there are uh, some people who uh, tend to oversimplify that complicated fact. So, yeah, uh, even uh, yeah, in other countries, uh, um, yeah, religion um, can be uh, criticized uh, as a main reason, yeah. reason for the conflict. But that's not true. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you have studied. I've heard uh, you have studied in, in U.S. Uh, in San Francisco. Yeah. And uh, uh, what was your experience uh, of living in the U.S. and studying in the U.S. And uh, yeah, how uh, did uh, the experience affect your uh, belief or your ideas? You see, uh, the first country I visited was the U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, here in Egypt, we, we recognize the people by names. You can know uh, Mr. Ahmed is a Muslim, Mr. George is a Christian. So I remember the first night I was in Washington, D.C. because I took four weeks just to study English before I go to the seminary. Uh, it was before I go to New York, even, before the, in, in San Francisco. I studied in New York so the seminary for the master first. And it was 1969 at that time. So I was in a motel. I want to know where is the church nearby. Mm -hmm. So I asked a man sitting beside me, an American person, uh, what is your name? He said, my name is Mark. Ah, he's Christian. So 
I said, what is the use of Shesh? I couldn't finish my sentence and he started to attack me. Foolish! Are you looking for Shesh? Shesh is for the foolish people. <laughs> <laughs> so I was shocked. I was thinking that all three, all Rebecca's Christians <laughs> and before the Shesh. <laughs> so I said, I, I didn't hear your name wrong. Mark? He said, yes, Mark. What does it mean, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> Mark means Christian. He said, no. My damn mother and father named me Mark. He didn't ask me. <laughs> he gave me this name. So I was really shocked. So the lady who was crying in the hotel was sitting in the desk and she said, good that he's not drunk. He could just have <laughs> So I got the lesson from the first night in the US that Christianity is not by names. Mm -hmm. Then I started to study in North American Seminary, and then I discovered that even we have some Jews, but I did nobody is asking you oh, what is your religion. Mm -hmm. And I got to learn that you don't have to ask anybody about his age, don't have to ask about, about his religion. They, they, they are atheist, they are religion, or Christian, or Muslim, whatever, but you have no right to ask. So I got the first shock and the first lesson, not to ask what is the religion, what is your religion, but what are you doing, what is your life? Then when I went after this and studied in San Francisco, I got to know that they are free people, and we, learn, we have to learn the freedom from the people. Uh, that even if you are applying for a job, you cannot ask the, the person even in indirect way what is your religion. Even if you ask, uh, somebody asks you what weekend day you want to have. Is it Friday, Saturday, Sunday? They say, oh, I want to go to the mosque. I want to Friday holiday. If you are not getting, getting this job, you can complain against this man. Because he asked you an indirect way a question to know what is your religion, a Jew or a Christian. Or a Muslim, and you are not given the job. You can have the job because this man is not right to ask me this question. So we, we learn from the people, even those who are not following any religion, atheist or uh, whatever the religion is. But what is their life? What is their way of uh, treating? Uh, they, they don't lie, for example. Uh, so sometimes we, we, we miss. We, misuse our religions and cause even uh, people to, to not to like this religion because our behavior is not good. But you see some people in, in different ways have religion or don't have religion, but their ethics are good. So this is what we need. Yeah, yes, I see. And yesterday in our presentation, so we talk about the bad role of religion, the good role of religion. Mm -hmm. So many people um, didn't accept the idea because they think that religion has all the time good role to play. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, Karas is saying maybe you want to ask the same question because in Egypt, I wonder we have a bad role for religion nowadays or how can we make it a good road for religion? Because in Japan, the people will say religion is not good. Why? Religion is different. Because in the Middle East, everyone's quarreling because of religion. If no religion in the Middle East, so no problem. I, I wonder, in Japan, they will say like this. Mm -hmm. And nowadays in Egypt, what is going on in Egypt? Maybe help Japanese to continue this idea. Yeah that if there is no religion, it is better for the Middle East. I think it is not religion, it is a way of teaching the religion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. Because the, uh, when we, they take the, the uh, title of Islam, what is the meaning of Islam? Mm -hmm. And they say, those who have a peace, Islam mm -hmm. coming from peace. Mm -hmm. So, Ben uh, Salim, Yes. Yeah. Don't attack somebody physically or yes. even by words. Yes. This is, this yes. is the uh, 
roots of religion. And yes. Muslim woman, Salim al Nasu, many other people are saying, ah, yes. if you are just what we call uh, narrow minded people, mm -hmm. it can be uh, any religion, even it can be without religion. Mm -hmm. The narrow minded thinking, if we think of a human being, human being, whatever, we have religion or like that, human being as creature of God, created by God. God can you can imagine who is God, how is, who looks God. As I saw in Singapore a uh, uh, view of two young people, a young lady and a young man in a very good dress, and they were uh, standing in front of a cage of snakes, coming with a plate of eggs to offer it to the snake. So they took the drawer and put the eggs and put some money uh, in a dish of water and put the food there. So I asked, what are you? And they said, we are going to marry and we are coming to have the blessings of the snake. And they are offering eggs and money to the man who takes care of the snakes. So how do you believe in that? So then I remember that the Egyptians in the past, they used to worship sun, even before the religions. Mm -hmm. And then they say, we don't know God, but we, we, we see the power of God. We don't know the name of God. We don't know how God looks like. But we see the, His power. This man looks see the power in the snake, that's very furious, can attack and kill. And they believe that the sun must give warmth and give life. So this is the resource of life, which is created by somebody, some God. So how to look to the religion? Uh, this is the, the way. But if you study and think of a human being as a type of creature created by the power of God, and the Creator, name him as we want, uh, Jehovah or Allah or God, this is our, the, our names. By the way, when I was in Indonesia, they couldn't believe that I am a Christian because Christians cannot uh, speak in Arabic. <laughs> All the people who speak in Arabic are Muslims. I said, even the Bible is Arabic. No, no, no. The Bible is not in Arabic. <laughs> Only the Quran in Arabic. Yes. So I have the, the, my Bible was given from Pope Shenouda, the late, uh, and uh, has his name on it. So I, I showed them and they started to take photos by the cameras for the Bible, because in Arabic, you are not Christian, you are Muslim. <laughs> in Indonesia. Yes. So I left in the TV the, the, the Bible. I ah. say, okay, ah. can you leave it? Yes, I will leave it, I have another one. Yeah. So I, talked, I told Pope Shenouda that your Bible is in, it's easy. Oh. I said, oh, why? I, I told them the story. They gave me another one, the big one. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, people couldn't believe that speaking Arabic be a Christian. Mm -hmm. only, only those who speak Arabic yeah, yeah. can speak on oh. this Bible. You can yes. have the, the big one. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I have the Arabic copy also in my office. So the students all the time ask me, yeah. you have Bible? I said, yes. Yeah. Hey, in Arabic, yes. You are reading. I said, yes, I'm reading every day. <laughs> it has a, a, a letter written by Pope Shenouda. Uh, as his gift from the first page. If you see the first page. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so people couldn't believe that speak Arabic to be a Christian. Mm -hmm. yeah. Language has not, nothing to do with the religion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, have a lot of things to learn from each other. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Uh, Father, <coughs> let me uh, pose another question. Uh, so, you, Egyptians have experienced a big change, a revolution, uh, and uh, still in tradition, uh, transition. Uh, but uh, the revolution uh, caused uh, a change uh, between uh, the relationship between uh, uh, Muslims and Christians and were relations between religion and the politics. 
So what, what is your opinion uh, about the change in the aftermath uh, of the revolution regarding the, uh, the different regions? Uh, you mean the, the new regime or the, the, new, the new revolution? A new, yeah, a new, new revolution, ah, yes, yes. Uh, January 25th. Oh yes, that's right, exactly. Uh, unfortunately, I was not in the state, in the country uh, during the, uh, the uh, 5th of January uh, 2011. I left on the 12th of January to the States. But before I leave to the States, I sent a letter to uh, the President. Uh, of course, I had no idea that something would happen. It was the 12th of January. I wrote a letter to him by, uh, not to him, as a matter of fact, but a photocopy, uh, uh, just a copy of my letter to the president, because the letter was sent to God first. Mm -hmm. So the letter was sent to the address, dear God. Mm -hmm. uh, and I started with a story happened in the States. A very poor American lady, the Americans are poor, there are a lot of poor Americans, not every American is rich, this lady <coughs> saved $100 before the Christmas to buy the Christmas needs. Before she was going to shop for shopping, she lost the $100. She was stolen. She had nothing to do for the Christmas. So she wrote a letter to God. Dear God, I have nothing for the Christmas. All my saving money, the hundred dollars, was stolen from me. If you please send me some money, because I am facing the Christmas time. And she put the paper in a very dirty, not clean envelope without a stamp and put it in the uh, post office box. Then the man, the postman, find the letter without the address, only to God. He opened the letter, I read the letter. So he asked his colleagues, can we help this lady? He could collect only $80. So he put the $80 to see only the address of the lady and said it. The lady opened $80. She wrote a thankful letter to God. Dear God, thank you. I am sure you are sending me $100. But the postman stole the dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful story. <laughs> so this story, I started the letter to God. I started with this story. And I, then I wrote my Dear God, we have a president who doesn't care to us. Doesn't care to the church. Even he doesn't send us eight dollars. Our churches are closed, we cannot open the church, and I want to God all oh, everything. And I even mentioned some uh, places where we have problems in Upper Egypt and this. And then I said, Dear God, may you allow me to send a photocopy, a copy of this letter to the president? So I wrote, It is a copy, dear president, it is a copy from my letter, send it to God. So I sent it with somebody who was serving in the palace of the president. And I was told that his children too, his children was there and his wife. And everybody wants a copy of this letter. They copied the letter and distributed. Then I went to the States. It was only 13 days and the revolution started. So I said, that my letter went to God, God, God to the president. Because there's no president. <laughs> Who oh, are complaining against him. So uh, this means <coughs> that the people, it's, a, it's my story, I think it's a story of many people who faced uh, difficulties mm. in the country. Uh, <coughs> but you see, the, the uh, uh, revolution started and people wanted <coughs> to see the, the fruits and there was no the fruit. Uh, the young people who suffered, who died, was killed, were killed. There is no uh, effort or results of fruits from those who died. Mm. Human beings are, cannot wait for, for 100 years. If you want to, to, 
to have the production to eat the fruits, there was no fruit. But even people are feeling that we are not going forward, are going backward. So this means the people are not really happy. I, I had two or three times seen uh, our president, the new president, Mohammed mm -hmm. And on Christmas Eve, he called me on the, in the phone and he started to uh, say good words. And I told him that people need to see something to, to, to touch, to see it. You cannot wait <coughs> until you uh, put the seeds and tell me that this uh, seed will be a good tree after 10 years or 50 years. People want to see differences in a positive way that they can find a place in the school in good education, to find a school in a hospital, a place in the hospital, <coughs> good treatment. Uh, but when they talk about distributing the bread and everyone will get three dishes of bread a day, we have villagers who can eat three days because you don't have something else to eat. No macaroni, no rice, no meat, no. So what to do? People couldn't imagine that they can live on this and go on lines just waiting to receive the three pieces of bread. It didn't happen. Even when we have the war in 1967, during Nasser's time, we, we didn't have such problems. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, we were not big in number, but many people are working outside. They are, in Saudi Arabia, we have around maybe two million. Yeah, yes, yes, around two million. Working in Saudi Arabia, and they send their money back to Egypt, mm -hmm. to their families, and so, so the country is getting a result from this. And sometimes we say, what if, if all the people came back from these rural countries working? They make a lot of problems too. So we, we, the, the feeling of the people that uh, the result, the, the fruits, we didn't get the fruits yet. And we don't have um, enough patience to wait until we receive the fruits. In the, in, the other, uh, in the other way that uh, if you have young people with hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands, unemployed in a, in, a, in a family, when the parents waiting, hardly waiting that this boy or girl would work and help his brothers and sisters. But they found that young man who finished education stand in the line waiting for a job and still ask his father to help him. This was a problem for the young people. If you speak about people who are dying, they say, what is the difference? We can die from hunger, hunger we can die in the square village. It doesn't, it is, has no difference. So people by nature are asking for a, a, a very fast uh, food. But by the way, the people now are looking for the fast food. They yes. have to stand and eat in, in the way. Mm -hmm. So how did they wait for years? So do you think this situation will continue longer? For example, two, three months, six months? Uh, the, the problem also that all those the, the, who are nominated for the presidency, the presidency give a, a good uh, impact that 100 days, everything will be very good. Mm -hmm. And then they found nothing, 100, 100, nothing. So you say, what? Uh, did we make a mistake by changing the regime? They are questioning themselves. Mm -hmm. Did we uh, make some, something wrong against mm -hmm. the government? Mm -hmm. But the election will, will be soon? Yeah. Uh, uh, I think the election will be in three to three months. It means the people will come. Election for what? For the new parliament. Ah, for the new parliament, yeah, yeah. It means if they have election, I think the people will vote against the new uh, regime. Our problem that we have 40% illiterate. Yes. They don't read or write. Yes. We have 50% of are under the, the line of poverty. 
So, the, the don't read or write. Mm -hmm. uh, you can, if somebody is starving and you give him a meal, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> what yes. is you? you can control it. Yes. 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 Yeah. It, makes, uh, it takes uh, a lot of months and years uh, to uh, fix all problems in Egypt, but uh, now more and more people but, are paying attention. But really we are uh, 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 waiting to see the, the way. If we start the way, yeah, yeah. we call uh, the, the miles starting with one step. Mm -hmm. If we have miles to walk, but we start on this in a good way, mm -hmm. But if you are working in the wrong direction, if you walk the whole day and night, you will not really arrive. Mm -hmm. Because you have to predict your direction first mm -hmm. and put a, 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 a map showing that you will reach this distance in three hours, four hours, five hours, and give me the right way. I can wait for it. Mm -hmm. But if we give me a promise, and this promise is not uh, fulfilled, another one is not fulfilled. Mm -hmm. so. How can I trust you? The people need to be trusted. And also to find the way of life. So I think my son is, is one of the, the parliament now, the uh, shura. Mm -hmm. uh, they asked me first if I joined the uh, parliament. I said, I didn't swear in my life. <laughs> so how can I go and swear in front of somebody? <laughs> But your son is <laughs> yeah, so a medical doctor. And, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, let, let me ask uh, a sort of last, last question. Last question. Uh, uh, so now uh, more and more Egyptian people are paying attention to the changing uh, the, uh, constitution. And so um, that uh, some Coptic leaders uh, showed uh, uh, big concerns uh, about uh, how to change the constitution because the current constitution says that um, the uh, Islamic law, Sharia, uh, is one, of the, uh, one, one source of the law. And so, but uh, the government uh, seems to emphasize the role of uh, Sharia. Uh, so, I think, uh, in my opinion, that is the uh, main reason why the Coptic or other uh, uh, Christian leaders uh, showed uh, uh, great uh, concerns about uh, that. So, how do you think about uh, changing the constitution? Uh, By the way, I was one of the uh, 100 people. I worked five months and a half just mm -hmm. on the committee. I gave all my time to the constitution committee. And we were, we were doing very good. We were good in the beginning and we started to know each other, so it was good. But we discovered that there is another constitution that is prepared before. And the articles are, as example, even uh, by the, the, the law. It was, uh, we, we uh, voted that we start with the presidency before the constitution. And so, all the wise people were thinking the constitution will be first. Then you choose the, the president mm -hmm. according to the constitution. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they uh, did all the efforts to uh, turn it around and say, mm -hmm. no, the president will be first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the, in the, in the uh, uh, contemporary uh, constitution, which was also agreed by the military and the people, mm -hmm say that after the uh, uh, constitution, the president will resign. And because he will swear in the new constitution. So it was the article which we say yes on it before the presidency. Then when we wrote the presidency, no, we we'll have to make exception. If you break the, the I didn't vote in the committee. I say I'm not against the person, but I'm against the rules. Because if we agreed to have the, the presidency first, then the constitution, and after the constitution, the president will resign, when he can be uh, uh, apply again. But you are making exception, and say it is exception article, that the uh, president will be 
uh, without will continue for four years as an exception. I said, if we start with an exception in the Constitution, we are spoiling the Constitution from the beginning. And then, as you mentioned, Article 2, the Al-Azhar was happy with it, and we were happy with it, that the principles of the Sharia mm -hmm. is the resource of all the laws. Mm -hmm. And it was, since a long time, we have really good it and very good. Then they changed it by having uh, Article number 219, which made the, more than the Sharia. They said all the sorts of all the, a very long uh, article to just spoiled Article 2 completely. Mm -hmm. We were happy with the principles of the Sharia. Mm -hmm. And if you apply, you cannot apply things, to, as an example, it was my first time to be asked to visit Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, everybody has his needs. If you are coming to a very poor family, or a very poor country, where a person can steal a piece of bread to eat, and say, well, I want to cut your hand. Give him first how to live. When he is, he has enough and steal, cut his hand and his neck, because you give him first. But if he is hungry, I was listening to one of my Muslim friends, he says, some person stole 10 pieces of loaves. And in his way, he found a, a mother dog which is uh, feeding its babies, dogs, couldn't go and find it. And he gave this dog a big one loaf. Then he said, maybe this will give you uh, something good that you did in your life. Because you feed a dog. Because if you cannot feed, feed the people themselves. And then he said, if you take a piece of bread, I will cut with him. You cannot take a, a, a loaf some country where we have enough to live and give it to people who are fighting and killing somebody for a piece of bread. So uh, you cannot do it. So yeah. give them first how to eat and then do whatever. It's a matter of priority. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, if anyone wants to ask a question. Yes, please. Yeah, please. You, you covered almost everything. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think so. Uh, so somebody uh, should be <laughs> No, we should stop. Maybe we shall say something. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.